In this video, we look at troubleshooting for an E20A pressure switch stuck closed error. To ensure the best chance of a first time fix for this one, take along the correct pressure switch. There's one that gets used with the older fryers for both series 100 and 200 with the black house blowers. And then there's a pressure switch that gets used with the newer silvered house blowers. The change of this pressure switch took place around June of 2018, and you can refer to the parts list for the correct part number and the serial number break. Lastly for this, you would also want to take along a control panel. For a little background on the E20A error, this occurs when the pressure switch tests closed at startup, right before the blower is energized. This check is to ensure the pressure switch is not stuck closed, so the control can detect a definite change after the blower motor is energized to prove that the blower is running. A common reason to get the E20A error is if the store splashed or sprayed water on the floor and the switch got wet. Many times when the switch dries, the fryer returns to normal operation. However, the switch may also be faulty and need to be tested, so check that out. To do this, Disconnect the 15 pin connector at the rear of the control and check for continuity between wires VS1 and VS2. If there is continuity, the switch is closed, then test directly at the pressure switch. If the pressure switch still tests closed, replace the switch. Again, make sure to use the correct pressure switch part number. If the switch tests open, but at the control it tests closed, then find the short in the wiring from the switch to the control and replace a bad section of wire. This would be more uncommon, but if the switch tests open at the control, but the control still displays an E20A, then replace the control panel. But again, that's really uncommon. As a reminder, pressure switches are rated differently for all Henny Penny fryers and should not be interchanged. The older pressure switch that gets used with the older black blower is rated for 0.8 inches water column, whereas the pressure switch used with the newer silver blowers is set to close at 0.4 inches water column. Also, pressure switches are only designed to function at their specified pressure in the vertical position, so never mount this horizontally.